What's up YouTube? Alex here, back in it for the video that a lot of you have been waiting for. It is my one year review of my Secret Lab Titan XL chair. I uh, can't believe it's it's already been a year with the chair here. I've used it, got to be almost every day, if not every day, for a couple hours. Uh, I play a lot of video games. I edit a lot of video. Um, you know, if you you know check out the YouTube channel, I have almost 300 videos now at this point. I think I just crossed 260, 270, somewhere in there. Um, and this chair has been through it all. So I wanted to get uh, one thing out uh, right away. A lot of people comment on my other videos. They kind of want to know my height and stuff like that. I'm about 6'4", about 300 pounds. So I'm a big guy, big chair, like I said in all my other videos. Uh, just been absolutely loving this chair. Uh, it was firm at first, and it has softened up a little bit, but it is still a pretty firm chair, which is something that I wanted. I wanted a firmer chair. I didn't want something that was super plush, like a lazy boy that was going to sink and the foam was going to get ruined. I, I can say after a year of use and abuse, like I have, you know, I've not been nice to this chair. I, you know, I, I throw it around, I move it, it's constantly moving and it's, it's held out pretty well. Um, if you watch one of my earlier videos, I did talk about one of the strings on the chair, uh, like the thread came loose. So your lab was super nice and replaced that, sent me a new chair. I think I still have the original bottom sitting over there. Uh, they never wanted that back. Uh, if they ever want it back, they can have it back. Uh, I really have no use for it, but I didn't want to throw it away. Um, there is only one other issue that I've had with this chair, and it has to do with this armrest. So on the inside, I'll put up a little clip, see if I can get it. On the inside of this armrest, um, it has cracked and split. Um, I haven't reached out to Secret Lab uh, to see what they'll do about it, see if it's something they cover under their warranty, see if it's something I've got to pay to replace. You know, I do lean on this side the most. This side, perfectly fine, no issues. Everything everything moves as, as intended still. Um, Except for that, I, it doesn't bother me at all. I literally just randomly noticed it one day that, you know, I felt it. It's a little rough. Hopefully I can get a good image or video and I can I can put it in here for you guys. Um, other than that, the chair's been great, you know. It, it does take some getting used to the firmer this, this chair is compared to a lot of other chairs. I know I've had a lot of people in the comments be like, well, I don't like firm chairs. And, you know, I don't want to firm this or for, like, if you don't want the proper support that this chair gives and the way that the foam is built to last. Cause I'm a big guy. I, I'm a lot of weight. I've ruined a lot of office chairs in my day by being as heavy as I am. I flatten the foam. This foam is held up so far over a year. So, so far it's been the best investment I've made, you know, for me, you know, obviously I don't make any money here. This is all for fun. This is just something I enjoy doing. And, I enjoy bringing you guys this content. You know, there aren't a lot of reviewers my size reviewing chairs. You know, I wish I could get more chairs to compare them to, but I'm not there yet. Uh, I hope to one day be there and I can bring you guys everything you want in that. But for this chair, it's still I still say it's worth the money. If anybody, when it, anybody in my comments is like, hey, do you still recommend this chair? It's still yes. It's always yes. You know? As long as you're not looking for a lazy boy of an office chair, this is the perfect chair, in my opinion. Obviously, there are plenty of other people that don't like these chairs. There are plenty of people that love these chairs. For me, this is a great chair. This supports me where I want to be supported still after a year. You know, I don't feel any of the, the wood or the metal on the bottom of the chair because the foam's held up. This arm, this issue is the only issue and i haven't even reached out to secret labs i haven't asked them hey do you guys cover this under warranty what are my steps into you know getting this arm replaced or anything like that i just haven't done it because it just it doesn't bother me um i'm going to um i might make a follow-up video you know on kind of their response on it you know if people are interested in it um but i just wanted to you know since i'm almost i think i'm almost to the year mark to the date you know in recording this video hopefully i'll be able to get it up I want to say the same day, like a year later, I got to double check the dates. Um, so by the time you've seen this video, I've had the chair over a year because I didn't post that video the same day I recorded it. So I guess a couple of the other things is, you know, it's still, you know, I have a Husky 
still a hair magnet. I'm still constantly fighting to clean hair off it. I've got all the fancy, you know, hair removal stuff and all that kind of stuff. And it just, it doesn't take long. You know, I guess another thing is, is I haven't lubed the chair up. You might have heard that creak. Let's see if I can get it. Sometimes when I lean, I don't know. I don't know if the mic's going to pick that up. It, it makes a little creaking sound, but I haven't lubed it up at all. And I, I'm constantly moving in this chair. So I'm sure I've dried it out a little bit. You know, there's some general maintenance stuff, just kind of lubing everything up that you got to do with a lot of products. You know, I could get away with not doing anything to this chair. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't happen very often. But to some people, that might be a, that might be a deal breaker. You know, this armrest, the little creaks here and there, might be a deal breaker for some of you. And I, you know, that I understand. For me, it's not a deal breaker. I love this chair. This chair has done me very, very well over the last year. I can't complain. I can't complain one bit about it. Even with the the, the two issues that I've had, you know, that's it. Otherwise, over a year, it's been a great chair. You know, this is going to be kind of a short video. There's not a whole lot to say, but the, the chair's holding up great. Outside of the one issue with the arm, everything's running great on it. Well, running great, working great on it. You know, no, no issues or anything like that. You know, I did, you know, if people want to know if they haven't watched any of my other videos, I did pay for this with, a, with my own money. This is not sponsored in any way by Secret Labs. I have no affiliation with them whatsoever. Um, I was offered an affiliate code. Um, I didn't take it. I didn't want it. You know, doesn't do me any good. I mean, it would if a bunch of you guys bought chairs using the code, but I just wasn't what I was looking for. Uh, I was hoping to maybe get sent a demo unit of a different chair to compare sizes for you guys. Didn't really work out. Not big enough YouTuber yet. Maybe one day. We'll see. Um, but I think that's going to be it for that video. <laughs> if that video. It's going to be it for this video. I can't talk today. Sorry, guys. Uh, if you liked it, please hit that like button. If you want to support the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.